Hey, my name is James Nicholson and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I want to talk about landlords are being accused of holding Parliament hostage. This is due to the renters reform bill and the readings that are going through at the moment. And the fact is that a lot of landlords are threatening to quit the market. A lot already have quit the market. And I'm going to tell you in this video what impact that has on rental stock at the moment. You see, it's significantly down since prior to the pandemic. So we're going to look at all of that and more, why landlords looking to leave, what can be done about it, and much, much more in this video. So before we jump into this, if you haven't done already, do subscribe to the channel over there and hit the bell notification. We're on the way to 24,000 subscribers now. We just hit 23,000 subscribers earlier this week. So you can help me get there that little bit faster by doing that. And while you're here, smash the like button, tickle the like button, do something to that like button over there. That really helps us with the YouTube algorithm. And just, you'll be a great person if you did it. So before we jump into this, keep the comments kind, keep them polite. These types of videos I know are gonna bring in both sides. are gonna get renters and we're gonna get landlords. And so have respectful conversations in the comments, but do comment with what you think should happen. So the renters reform bill is going through parliament it's having more readings, it's been negotiated, the final parts, and there's a lot of different opinion on this. So uh, from one side, they're saying this is really watered down and favours the landlords, and the landlords are saying it's going too far. So who's right? Well, I don't know. I don't know either way who's right, but what I do know is it is having an impact on rental properties. You see, since this has started to uh, go through Parliament, we now have a shortfall. Well, actually, we have a bigger shortfall than this, but we've lost 50,000 rental properties, which is a huge number. We were already short. And what this is doing is pushing rents up. It means that when you view a property, you might be going against 10, 20 people. You'll see if you follow Ireland at all, they had times where there were 60, 70, 80 people viewing one property. Scotland has similar problems to this as well. And so we have dropped rental stock, but in that time, our population, I think last year, just immigration was 700,000 people. <clears throat> and so the shortfall properties is absolutely huge. So the NR, the, the National uh, Register of Landlords Association, they're fighting on the landlord's behalf. Then you've got shelter and the charities fighting on the tenant's behalf as well. And the problem is that neither party can agree. Everyone wants best, wants what's best for them. That's just normal in any negotiation. But what is happening at the moment is um, a lot of evictions are happening due to the fact that landlords are saying they're selling their properties. And so that is the, the most common reason why a landlord is saying that they want their property back. It is to sell that property. And landlord sentiment is low at the moment. A lot of them are not happy. Uh, and I want to go through a, a few of the things, just so you can understand whether you're a tenant or a landlord, what is actually happening. So the landlord's biggest problem with this bill is the Section 21 part, right? So the Section 21 allows you to get a no-fault eviction. The charities say that these are used unfairly and cause homelessness for a lot of families, and so they want them abolished. The government have said that they will abolish them, but not until the courts are ready. So the legislation is going to pass, and then it will be decided when the courts are ready, which means they probably won't ever go through, right? It, in, in my opinion, I just don't think the Section 21 will actually happen unless Labour get in and then they figure something out. But courts are so backlogged anyway. And if you get rid of the Section 21, then you've got more stuff going through the court. I just don't see how they're going to cope. So I just feel that while landlords are upset that this is getting abolished, I don't think it is. I just don't think it's going to happen or it's going to be a long way down the line that this will happen. So on the other side, the charities and everybody like that will be annoyed that it's not getting abolished straight away. And it, they've got to wait for this uh, to happen and there's no protection 
for those tenants. So that's one thing that landlords are unhappy about. The other main one is the section 24, which is the tax, which is not anything to do with the relationship between a tenant and a landlord, but it means that landlords are now taxed on their gross rental income. Now, you might think that that's normal, but most businesses are not taxed like that. So if you own a restaurant and get £10, someone pays you £10 for fish and chips, you get to deduct the cost of the heating, the materials, the staff, the rent before you actually pay your tax and you pay your tax on the profit at the end. Landlords is the only business now that you get taxed on the gross rental income. And if you're a higher rate taxpayer, that's 50% of the rent could be gone straight away out with tax. Now, now with higher interest rates and stuff like that, that, that is making more landlords leave the market as well. So that's kind of an anti-landlord policy. Next, you've got interest rates as well. So these three things are the main reasons why landlords are leaving the market in droves at the moment. Now, with the new renters reform bill, you've got other stuff, which as a landlord myself, I don't see as a big deal. For example, make, making it so people have to, you have to consider whether they would have pets. You're not forced to, it's still the same. If you don't want the pets, you don't have to have the pets, right? Um, so you have to consider that and do that in writing. The fact that you go into rolling contracts, I don't have a problem with that. You can put the rent up once a year if you need to. There aren't rental caps or anything like that. But some landlords, if they've had a bad experience, they're just leaving the market. So here's what I think needs to happen is I feel that the renters reform bill could pass as it is. I, I personally, as a landlord, don't have a problem with anything really that's in that bill. But on the other side of things, we want to keep landlords in the market. There's always going to be tons of people that are going to comment on this video saying, oh, poor landlords. And they're probably people that live in a rental home that is getting their rent put up at record rates. So if you're really anti-landlord and you have all these tax rules and all these other things in place, when you've got a high interest rate economy, more will leave. There'll be less supply. More immigration will happen. People will live longer as well. And it's just going to be a problem that gets worse and worse and worse. So in my opinion, you should pass the renters reform bill, but give something back to the landlords. Make it a little bit more tax efficient for them. Do something to keep landlords in the market, because if you get rid of all the landlords, the other opportunity is that the big corporates take on the properties and they become your landlord. And trust me, you're not going to enjoy that if Lloyd's runs your property. It's going to be inefficient. You're not going to have the the stuff that you do have for landlords now. For example, if I have a boiler that's broken, I'll get someone there sometimes the same day within hours. You try getting that sorted with one of the big corporate landlords or a council. They're big landlords as well. How do people get service from them? They don't. They're always in the paper how bad the councils are. So you don't want to get rid of landlords. But what you do want is tenants to have better rights. That is absolutely important. I do want tenants to feel comfortable, feel like they've got a home for life if they want it. But I think they also the government needs to look at some sort of incentive to help landlords stay in the market. And that will help get this number back up. We want to encourage landlords, uh, I, I think, again, and that's a really important thing. So while the landlords are being accused of holding this bill hostage, I don't think that they're really going to be able to stop it going through. But what I do think is both parties should have some sort of co compromise. So it's a win-win. If you're going to take stuff away from landlords, fine, but give something back in return. And so there is an incentive to stay in the market because if you eliminate all the landlords, trust me, you won't be happy with what the other scenario is. Anyway, what's your thoughts on this? Do comment below. Do smash the like button. Share this video with someone. Subscribe. Go and check out some more content on my channel, including this video right here.